Okay, so I got my needle all threaded painstakingly. I'm really tempted to go down tomorrow and get some fabric glue because I could glue these together very simply and then and then stitch it to support it. Because that stuff's not really that expensive either. Just want to figure out how much, how big a loop to make. I think that looks that might actually be pretty good. So let me uh, get these clips in place. That way, this is not going to move around. Now, it might be a little floppy too with the. Uh, hope you guys can see that alright. I'm not gonna go through the entire sewing process. But. If I can trim off this extra stuff, but. Bitch with it. Where it meets it underneath. I think I'm just going to leave these pinched for now while I probably watch another video and then make some dinner so I can have a fresh attack at it just because I'm getting a little frustrated so I think I'm just going to leave these pinched for now while I probably watch another video and then make some dinner so I can have a fresh attack at it just because I'm getting a little frustrated so okay so truth be told it's actually uh, the next day I uh, I stopped to watch some YouTube and just never got back to this. So uh, what I did is I went to a fabric store and I picked up some of uh, this uh, liquid stitch. I thought maybe it would be easier just to glue the thing together than it would be to painstakingly sew every little piece on. So this is what I got. Let's see if there's a I'm hoping. Yep, I figured there was something like this on here. Looks just like Elmer's glue, to be honest. All right, so I went and grabbed the paper towel just for cleanup. So then we get glue everywhere, and then I went and got these two binder clips, courtesy of a previous job, not my current. Hint, hint. <clears throat> Um, I want to try, uh, I don't want this thing to slip off while it's on, so I'm going to kind of run it through. I might be doing this in several batches. I mean, I might set this, glue it, and then walk away and then come back to it after maybe the glue sets. But I want to try gluing this, because I, you know, I, I figure I can trim off. some of the excess. And uh, so, kind of like that. See, it doesn't want to hold, thankfully. I still got these clips, so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this uh, dry, and then I'm gonna flip it over one more time and then re-glue it, and then um, I will bring it back. All right, so what I did is I uh, went ahead and glued both sides, and it's, even though it's glued, it's this opening right up. 
what the hell? I get fabric liquid stitch. That's irritating. It's not even holding, it's just slipping right out. So probably what I'll have to do is I'll have to stitch each side. And then Yeah, I might have to stitch each side. Because it's just not it's not even holding. So that's it's a waste or I gotta let it dry longer. So I might, I might go make dinner. Maybe I'll check it tomorrow and see how it's holding. And then probably have to stitch it anyway. But you know, I've never done this before, so it's It seems to be, it's just kind of a, tri a trial and error kind of thing. Okay, so real quick, um, truth be told, it's the next morning. I just wanted to see how the glue held up, so let's take a look, see how it did. All right, let's take a look. You know what I think, overnight was the trick. It seems pretty, it feels fairly secure. And all that just to keep the uh, the thing from slipping out. So let's. So basically, here's what I was thinking. I could run this through like this, run it through my belt, and simply click it on like that. Although it's that might be a problem. I'd have to get it on to see, but. Which I might do here soon. Now let's go All right. Look. So unfortunately, I, I went and put this on my belt, and it just it it hit the floor. It just it's uh it's too big, too wide here for this. So I'm either gonna have to roll it a few more times, I did mention I've never actually kind of done anything like this before, so it's it's kind of a learn a uh, trial and error for me. So I may have to re-glue these. It's gotta be thicker than the, than the opening here, otherwise it's just gonna fall through and I don't wanna risk losing my knife. Because it was not on there right. So. Probably could have bought smaller, uh, maybe inch and a half or one inch webbing instead. So. Ah, come on. So what I'm going to do is over the next couple days, I'm just going to keep gluing it and rolling it and see if I can. Um, get it to uh, thicker than the opening here so get it thicker than this opening so it won't fall through so all right so truth be told i shot a lot of this like about two weeks ago it's just been been too damn busy to get back to it but i uh, pulled the glue off or pulled the clips off where i had glued these and they seem to be holding up pretty well so I'm actually quite happy with that. Actually, let me turn the camera down and give you a better look. All right. So, seems to be doing holding pretty well. I was gonna stitch it, but I don't think it's gonna need it now. One thing though is uh, with this, I'm not happy with how floppy this piece here is. And it's this part around the sheath I'm not happy with. I feel like it's, you know, the knife doesn't stay up. It just kind of, well, so it kind of just does one of these numbers. I think I need to do is I need to sh shorten this one up here. Make this shorter by, I could fold it over and sew it. 
or I could cut it, wrap it around the whole sheath, and then then re-sew it, or cut a new one and, and stitch it. Then I could just tuck the whole thing underneath the belt, or the belt goes through. So I think I'm gonna do that. How am I gonna attach it to the sheath though? I'll have to ponder. All right, so what I did is I, uh, I took, I just took this, folded it over, sewed it, not great, but I stitched it. Um, I could just cut the whole thing off and try again, but I'm, uh, I'm actually planning on hitting the woods this coming, um, Sunday. Well, when I show this video, it'll probably be next week, but I'll, uh, I'll give it a little field test, see how it does, see if it stays, if there's any issues, I might just cut this off, I can just cut this off and just redo the whole thing, so we'll see how it works. Like I said, I, I don't normally do DIY stuff like this, but I uh, figured I'd give it a shot. And, uh, of course I got interrupted by life, but, you know, that's just what happens. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching. Uh, I might break this into two parts. If I do, this will be part two. Uh, don't forget to check out part one, which will be in the description, and also the end card. Uh, I might just cut it down in half, just to make the videos quicker and easier to watch. As always, I do appreciate you watching, and uh, let me know what you think. Yay, nay, you could do this, you could do that. Maybe refer me to some videos. Uh, maybe I'll check them out. Uh, you know, maybe I can uh, get some ideas. But I'll, I'll take this out, give it a, a woods, woods run, see how she does. And then, uh, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the description below.